Right, I've got my coins and currency bar and I am ready to go. I don't know what your settlement uses more, like coinage or currency bars, but we use a balance of both to trade. We have bronze, silver and gold coins. Well, the design is very similar to those produced in Gaul. I'm sure our leaders will soon be putting their faces on the coins too. <laughs> One of the main coins we use is called a gold stator. Now, a silver stator is worth less than a gold stator because the metal used is less precious. If we want to buy something smaller, less expensive, then we use a quarter stator. Yep, you've guessed it. A quarter stator is a quarter of one silver stator. So instead of chopping this coin up into four sections, we've got a coin for that, the quarter stator. So four quarter staters make up one silver stator. Coins are so much easier to carry around as well. They fit nicely in a little purse, so much lighter than one of our big old currency bars. We can easily store coins within the roundhouse and hide them from intruders. You can never be too careful especially when there's word of these Romans coming over via the sea. Mind you, currency bars are still good to trade with because you can use the metal to make different tools. The rolled up ends help traders work out what metals make up this iron bar and show that it is of a very high quality and can be moulded in different ways. The only thing we don't trade for is food. Living in our small settlement, we live off the land. Oh, that reminds me. Are you staying for dinner? Well then, I better go and start preparing some food. <laughs>